Hi everyone, it's Pastor Andrew here. I am recording a little tutorial of uh, how to use our, our church website and showing you some features that are there. Um, so I am uh, I'm using Zoom to do that. Uh, so it might be a little clunky early on. Um, so let's pretend you're sitting down at your computer, you open up a, your web browser, which for me is uh, just gonna be this Microsoft Edge. Um, so, sorry, let me share my window here. So, um, here we go. We got, um, got our Microsoft Wedge, Edge, not Wedge, open. Um, so you just open up a new tab and uh, type in center, prez.com. Um, to uh, come to our church website. So this is it right here. And uh, let me first give you a tour of the, the homepage. And let me say uh, there's been a, uh, there was a group of ladies from our church who worked really hard um, in advising a, uh, con a web consultant who put this together for us. Um, and Barb and I are, are doing this sort of um, every uh, every week uh, updates uh, necessary to keep up and running, but uh, this is what it looks like. So this is the home page. Um, as you you scroll down, uh, we we have some um, sort of um, big uh, big sort of pages that we want to draw people's uh, attention to. Um, a lot of these FAQ questions, frequently asked questions, are um, primarily for outsiders people who might be curious in coming to church so when do we worship what's the dress code what can i expect that sort of stuff um so this would be a really great resource for you to re refer your your friends to as as they're um you know potentially considering coming to church um so whenever you want to come back to the home page you would just hit that home button um children and youth uh this gives a little taste of what our children and youth ministry is like. Again, this is primarily for, um, for outsiders, people who, um, who don't really know what is going on in our church. So, but maybe they have kids and they're looking for a church to get plugged into, or maybe they've been invited by one of our children or youth or families. So they could log on here and, and learn a little bit about uh, how we do children and youth ministry and get to see some some fun faces of of uh, you know children and youth and teachers and get to see some of the fun things that, that we have here. Um, so we have a, a bunch of pages like that that are educational that explain some of the the ministry the ministries that we do here like adult education and, and music and mission and outreach, these are all educational ones that inform people what, what we do. They are probably, again, more for outsiders than they are for us. Um, I forgot to mention up here, we have some different photos of our church that people can cycle through and get a little glimpse of, of uh, the church building before they come. So right down below it, uh, every week we're going to be updating the uh, the website with the most recent worship service. So this is our worship service from this past Sunday. So you can just log on and and watch. And if you click this button here, it will make it big. Um, so I don't think the sound's quite working because I'm recording, um, but I know it does work when you run it live. Um, so. Yeah, uh, this is one of the many places you can come to watch. It will still be put, uh, posted on, on uh, Facebook. Uh, down here is where all of our sort of featured events are. Um, if I had done this tutorial uh, back in sort of mid-December, you would have seen just loads of things here because I had uh, all the various Christmas Eve, Christmas Day things listed here in the children's program. Um, so I'm about to add a, a bunch more like the, the, um, the game nights and um, the potluck and annual meeting, the cherry pie sale and sweetheart's dinner. Um, so 
you could come on here and find something like this, a little advertisement, a little teaser that you can check out. And, um, and then if you sort of hover over, you get a little bit more information. And if you want a lot more information, you can click on the more info and it takes you to here. And some of these events, there will be an RSVP button that you can click on and just fill out whatever information we're asking people to give. Uh, I suspect a, a lot of, a lot of um, events that we have at church will be uh, events that aren't RSVP for, but we would still have information like this. And as you can see, there's, um, you know, information on the time and the place and, and all that presented in a pretty um, uh, easy to look at format. Um, so, and, and as, as things get planned, um, the, the upcoming events, the featured events will, will just sort of all be here in, in a grid fashion that people can scroll through and, and look at and click on. Um, so down here, um, these are ways, again, primarily for, uh, for, for outsiders to get in, in, in contact with us, that if someone's searching for a church or has a question, maybe someone has a question about the cemetery or something like that, it's a really easy way for them to fill out a form and get in contact with us. And if anyone, including you, I'm presuming you are a church member or regular here, has a prayer request, uh, you could log on here and and just give some basic details of your prayer request, and and I uh, it will send me an email with with that information. And I'll get in touch with you. Um, and obviously down here we have some contact information, a little map. Um, so this is what our, our homepage is is like. Uh, we will periodically have. Um, special notices here that will probably go in between this picture and this banner or in between this banner and and um, and the, the video. Uh, so for instance, uh, if there was severe weather, uh, like a snowstorm or something like that, that uh, we were not going to be worshiping in person, there would be a little a little bar there that um, says the church is closed for today because of, of weather. So you could log on um, by, you know, sometime between eight and 8.30 and, and see that that's, um, see that information there. Um, so let me show you some of the, the menu uh, about us. This uh, informs people um, a little bit of who we are, what we believe, um, what our church history is. So it just sort of gives, uh, um, again, outsiders a little taste of what they can expect when they come here, um, what, what it's going to feel like, um, what they're going to be taught and what they're going to hear. Uh, that sort of stuff is all here. Um, and you all are, are welcome to, again, click through this and um, and learn more. I, I should say in the church history website, we kept it very uh, simple and that's an intentional. We, we tried to not have too much information on any page. Uh, so on the, um, the meet the staff page, there's some, some pictures and, and, um, and contact information for, for some of us to, uh, to get in contact with like me and, and Barb, for instance. For, for those who would like to do that. Um, so uh, now the get involved. Uh, this is again, another pay, another sort of parent page that has all these sub pages that people can learn more about different ministries here at the church. Um, worship, uh, if you just click this worship page, it takes you to a place that sort of explains our sort of um, how we worship and why we worship. Um, but if you go back and hover and then go on, click worship archives, worship service archives in the drop down menu, um, this is where the previous worship services are, um, are being kept. So if you missed a worship service from several weeks ago, or, or, uh, maybe there was a really great sermon that you wanted to, to see, um, that, or, or uh, a great choir piece that you wanted to listen to again, 
uh, you could come back here and, and find it. And we have it listed by, by date. So um, another great resource for particularly our church family is going to be this church calendar. Barb is working really hard to keep this up to date. And, um, and on it, taking a little bit to, to load, on it has so, um, information of events coming up. And most of the most of the events is sort of very basic um, time and place and title of, of the event. Um, so if that's all you're looking for, then then you can look here. Um, so if you want to know when a, a certain meeting is, you could come online and look if you're wanting to um, potentially plan like a, um, a family reunion or something and want to know if a certain Saturday has already been taken, you can log on here and, and see if something's been, been booked uh, before you contact Barb um, to go through the process of booking that. Um, so yeah, to um, learn more about any of this, all you would do is hover and then click on whatever you're, you're interested in and you can even uh, copy that event to your Google Calendar and it will sync there. So, and you can move forward and look at next month. Um, and if you want to go back to the current month, you just hit today. So I think that'll be a really good feature. You could also click events. This um, is a, another place that you can learn about all the, the featured upcoming events. Um, so under resources, this has a lot of different um, yeah, a lot of different information uh, that could come in handy. Uh, so these bottom ones are sort of situ situational ones. Uh, if you have, you're planning a funeral, you might be interested in the cemetery info and funerals. Um, and if you want to rent a part of the facility, you would click here. You can learn more about how to do that. Um, but uh, if you click on publications, Here's where you can find all of our recent bulletins and recent newsletters, and we'll have the annual reports here as well. Uh, so the last thing I want to show you is the give page. So on here, there's three different ways you can give. Uh, you can give online by clicking here, and uh, it will take you to uh, a PayPal link where you can um, fill out information to your credit card and um, and give to our church in that way. So if uh, you're not able to, to come to church and it, you, you, know, you don't have any more checks in your checkbook, you can always come online and give this way. Um, time and talents, this is another way you can give. You can fill out a little survey of um, you know, what sort of available time you have, what, uh, what stuff you like doing, and we could find ways to plug you in here at church in different ways. And, and giving of your heart is, is uh, um, a, a prayer that we wrote for those who are feeling, um, feeling led to, to give of themselves more to God or, or give themselves to God, um, period, and, and, you know, um, in general, uh, who might not have done so. Um, so that's what this, this giving page is about. So um, that is our our uh, new church website in, in a nutshell. It's possible in the coming months, we might um, tweak the location of things and some of the, the titles of the menus might change. And we hope to update um, the pictures that you would see like on the homepage and, and, and in other places, um, at, you know, as we are able to get some, some new pictures. Um, but uh, yeah, this is going to be the sort of general format of our church website, and I, I hope you find it uh, to be a useful tool and, and a, a good resource for our community to use to, um, to get to know us better, because uh, for a lot of people, our website is going to be our new front door. Um, so if you have any questions in uh, how to use the, the website, feel free to reach out to me, and I hope you have a blessed day. Bye, friends.